Hey y'all, so we're gonna get right to it. My hair was in a puff, and as you guys can see, my hair is a little shrunken. It's almost time to wash my hair, but I'm not ready to just yet. So I'm about to style it up. So I'm just using some water that's barely in my spray bottle. <laughs> I need to fill it back up and just wet my hair a bit and then I'm going to use the Eco Styler Gel Gold and I'm going to put that all over the perimeter of my hair because y'all already know what time it is. I'm about to get this hair sleek and slick, brush it up with my brush and put it into its own little bun. just make sure that I gather the back really well or whatever because my hair is still growing out so sometimes it kind of like slips down in the back it's a little bit shorter so I have to make sure I get it you know together going into a high bun and don't mind the product at the top as you can see the gel kind of mixed in with the product that I already had on my hair and yeah but that's not going to be noticeable you're not going to be able to see that at all then I'm going to take some pump it up and spray that on top of the gel and everything just to make my hair a little bit more smooth and use my hands to smooth out my hair and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my scarf and I do add a bonnet on top of it when it's time for me to go to bed just so I'm not getting my pillow wet and everything with the gel so yeah but gel is optional if your hair is longer than mine you don't have to use gel of course I'll be using DY Hair 777 Kinky Curly Hair to create these buns. And this is just what the packaging looks like. Super cute. They did send over a closure because I'm actually going to turn this hair into a wig next. So stay tuned. Comment down below what you guys think I should do to the wig. Side part, middle part. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. And this is what the bundles look like. I got a 12 inch, a 14 inch, and a 16 inch. The bundles are super, super pretty, super full, and are really beautiful. Not a foul smell at all. They don't smell crazy. But anyway, so I just went back in with the gel to lay my edges down a little bit because they kind of moved around while I was sleeping. So I put my scarf back on. I have some clothes bobby pins and some open ones. I'm going to take the 14 inch bundle. That's what I decided to use. And it's gathered together. I didn't separate it or whatever because this just makes it easy to wrap around your bun. And then I'm just going to take a bobby pin and put the track into my bun. Make sure you don't poke your scalp or anything. And yes, yeah, so that's just what I'm doing here. And then I'm just going to continue to wrap it around my real bun. <laughs> So I'm done wrapping I just went ahead and pinned it into place to make sure it's secure and then I just gather all the hair up tied it together and then grab the few pieces from the bottom to wrap around the bottom of the ponytail because of course you don't want the track to be showing and then I just pinned that into place And if you can kind of see your bun in the middle, just go ahead and take a bobby pin and kind of pin the hair over it. That's what I did um, like while I was fluffing out the hair a bit just to give the hair a little bit more volume. And this is what I'm talking about here where I put the pin. But yes, yeah, so this is the first style. Super cute and fluffy. Perfect for the summertime. Out of your face, you know, up. Looking real cute and stylish. I love it. I love it. All right, so going right into the second look, I'm just gathering some of the hair from the back section of the ponytail, and we're gonna do a bun and a bang. This is a really simple way to do so. Just wrap the hair around and literally pin it. That's all you have to do. My bangs were a little bit too long, so I went ahead and took some bobby pins and kind of hyped them up, like scrunched them up at the top of the bun, as you guys can see me doing, and just pinned it into place. But this hair is super easy to work with. It blends really well with 
my natural hair that's what I like about it I haven't yet washed it and everything yet but you guys will see that on the next video so stay tuned for that if you want to see how the hair looks wet and everything but this style is just so cute I love it super cute so moving on to our last style I'm um, just doing a simple donut bun you guys know this is like my little signature bun look you guys tend to love it so you guys know you just wrap the hair around like a donut kind of like tuck it under um, and go in a circular motion and then pin it into place that is all you gotta do these styles are perfect and simple and this is the finished look of the bun make sure you guys check out dy hair 777 everything about them will be linked in the description box the hair that i use for this tutorial will be linked in the description box below as well i hope you all enjoyed this video thanks for watching and i will see you all on my next one bye